What's so great about academic life? In social media, you often see people focus on the negative sides of life in academia. And of course, there are glaringly obvious problems. So there is, of course, good reason to focus on negative sides of academia and the bits of it that are broken. And there clearly are many things that are broken in various countries, different things. But sometimes it's also good to remember the positives. And this is what this video is all about. Now, these positives are going to differ from person to person and maybe also from career stage to career stage. So this is just going to be my take. And feel free to leave your opinion on this topic in the comments. I'd love to hear from you what um, you enjoy most about academia, of course. To me, the most amazing things about academia is that you can really just be fascinated by a particular research topic and you can just pursue it basically to your heart's content. You can follow your curiosity and dedicate as much as you can to answering a particular question that just really fascinates you. Sometimes for no other reason than your curiosity. You don't have to you know, necessarily always cure a disease or save agroecosystems or the planet. You can just pursue a topic because you find it just a cool topic. And of course, it's even better when it's an important topic. But in the end, you can really pursue what you find cool and interesting. And you can do that to as much depth as you like and your funding allows, of course. But I'm not sure if there's many other professions in which you can really do that. And it is, you know, basically this um, curiosity and with that, the discovery, finding out new stuff, thinking about new concepts, that's mostly what I like to do, that I think gives you yeah, immense joy. I find that just simply amazing. It's also a perpetual challenge. You can always you know, think about new stuff. There's always new things that you come across, new problems that you get from you know, talking to your colleagues and friends. And so it's um, basically just never ending. And it's an opportunity to test your limits. You know, How much can I pursue this topic? How much can I find out? How much new stuff can I bring to bear on this particular problem? That is just a fantastic challenge. So basically what a lot of people would also say is, <laughs> I'm sure, is the freedom. The freedom to pursue things, whatever you like, basically, but also how you like and when you like. You know, you can do this for a period of 10 years. You mostly are free how you use your time. Do you work late at night? Do you work early mornings? Do you come to work at 12 or at noon? Generally, people don't care. Um, you can pursue your own stuff however you like. And of course, there's the learning. Learning on the one hand through, you know, talking to colleagues, but then also journal clubs is what I enjoy a lot. Learning from um, people that you work with immediately, um, or also from reading papers. But you always get, get new input. It's never a dull day. There is always new stuff. There is always new opportunities to learn. And the flip side to that, and it's actually quite related, is teaching and, and mentoring. You know, very often you do get ideas by having to put things in a broader context when you teach a class, for example, and suddenly you think, oh, wow, nobody has really thought about it this way. Or somebody asks you a question in a lecture, classic, <laughs> you know, and you've never thought about that. It's like, oh, wow, this is actually a, a cool topic. So this um, teaching always gives me a high after a, after a lecture. I feel like this has been deeply satisfying and also contributes to happiness in this particular job. Then, of course, there is traveling to interesting places, um, seeing different parts of the world by vis visiting people, uh, colleagues, mostly by going to conferences or attending workshops and having like an extra day and just taking in the environment. Um, that is also, I think, a, a very nice bonus of this job. Not the main bonus, but I think it is a nice bonus. And, of course, you do that. You're not just a tourist. <laughs> 
that you go to a place and you visit people that share your interest, either at a meeting at a workshop or when you visit colleagues, so you're immediately connected to that network of people that find the same things cool that you find cool. I think that's, that's really amazing. And then while we're on the topic, it's the people, right? I mean, sure, there's also jerks like everywhere, but I've met a whole lot of very cool people in all kinds of countries where I'm sure otherwise I would have uh, otherwise never met anybody and never made friends. And there's some amazingly cool people in science. Um, and that's also wonderful. So you can see there's a lot of very beneficial things about doing science that I think I'm not sure if there's parallel in any other field. <laughs> and there is not just the downsides. That's important to keep in mind.